The islands of the archipelago are home to many animals, but it's this one which has made Komodo famous the world over. The monitor lizards of Komodo are an endemic species. Currently, they are the largest lizards alive on our planet. They feel perfectly at home on the sides of mountains, in the forest, and on the beach. The beginning of the evolution of the Varanus species began 40 million years ago. Elsewhere, we can find creatures which are evolutionally much older than the monitor lizards. They appeared in the Ordovician period of the Earth's history, which started 485 million years ago. To meet them, we need to enter the underwater world. Anchored to the corals are crinoids. They belong to the echinoderm grouping. Their glory days were in the Devonian and Carboniferous periods. It consists of 5,600 species, most of which, though, are extinct. Just 600 species have survived. The actual body of a crinoid is made up of a cup, equipped with a mouth and an anus and 10 arms. Their huge color variations and curious appearance make them seem like creatures from another world. The arms surrounding the mouth catch the food by filtering the water. One of the ways crinoids move is by walking using their arms. They have a water vascular system. It is made up of thin pipes used for movement, breathing, and touch. Not only can crinoids walk, but they can also swim by using their arms alternately. Using their tube feet, they can attach themselves to various surfaces. Groups of fabulous red antheas are made up of females and one male who leads his harem. When he dies, the oldest of the females takes on the role, changing its sex. The huge reptiles, undisturbed by man, feel at ease here. The lizards are great swimmers and travel between the islands. Rinka Island has a population of around 1,000 specimens. The Komodo dragons are solitary animals, but join together in groups in mating season or for eating. The well-muscled body of the lizard is covered in scales with bony studding. This creates its own form of chainmail. It is thought that monitor lizards evolved around four million years ago, but were first documented by Europeans in 1910, after people had heard rumors of the existence of a land crocodile. As they cannot create heat, the dragons must absorb it by basking in the sun. Just like with other reptiles, the monitor lizards shed their skin. Under its surface are concealed powerful muscles, which can be used to fight or hunt as the need arises. A huge amount of energy is spent when hunting, which is why the dragons gladly search for carrion. Sometimes, though, you have to hunt. Reptiles can take down animals which are much larger than them. They can swallow smaller victims whole. The process can last up to 20 minutes. During the breeding season, from May to August, the males fight over the females. The winner takes all. Among the lizards in captivity in zoos, parthenogenesis has been observed. From unfertilized eggs hatched males, it is possible that this adaptation enabled the dragons to inhabit islands where just one female could create a whole colony. 
nature can cope with the most difficult of conditions. These are glassfish. They have transparent bodies. They don't have the weapons that the dragons have at hand. Therefore, they have to shape a different survival strategy. They are incredibly agile and can escape extremely quickly. You would think they make up a single organism. They understand each other perfectly and react corporately to any danger. As a shoal, they can react together thanks to their lateral line system, which receives information about pressure changes in the water surrounding them. Half-moon triggerfish hunt for small crustaceans in the holes and recesses of the corals. Their larger cousins are titan triggerfish. As opposed to the surgeon fish, they prefer a solitary lifestyle. They defend their independence. They are extremely territorial and can be aggressive. They can grow to a length of 75 centimeters. They have a strong mouth equipped with teeth, which can crush corals. Triggerfish live on mollusks, crustaceans, and corals and anemones. While eating, they tear off parts of the corals, lift stones, or penetrate the sand. Triggerfish store ciguatoxins, which accumulate in certain fish from the higher levels of the food chain. The toxins come from algae and are passed from organism to organism during feeding. This is why the meat from triggerfish is poisonous. <laughs> 